Hello guys, hopefully everyone is fine. In today's video, we will be discussing the concept of uh, Rabin Kaap algorithm. If I talk about Rabin Kaap algorithm, uh, this is also one of the uh, algorithms that we have for string matching. So what differentiates Rabin Kaap algorithm with the Naive string matching algorithm is the number of comparisons. So it reduces the number of comparisons. How it does it, it basically takes hash values. Hash values are actually calculated when any number and we modulus it with prime number. Uh, why we are modulusing it with prime number is that because prime numbers are generally, uh, they are the numbers which are not divisible numbers by default. So we are uh, taking any number which is modulus with prime number and uh, whatever is the remainder out of it. So that remainder is actually your hash value. And guys, let me tell you that why we are uh, we are like uh, we are dividing that number with prime number because they are not uh, divisible numbers. So we want unique hash value out of it and how hash value is calculated we are going to take a sky values of characters we are going to take a sky value of characters let's say i am writing a so it's a sky value is 97 so i'm like uh, basically going to take 97 in this case instead of any characters i'll rather use their a sky values so I'll just take an example accordingly, right? So what we will do is that if I want to find a text in a pattern or a pattern in text, we got A, A, B, A, C, D, and I want to find A, C, D. So I will take this and I will take this also. I will convert it to a sky and whatever value I'm going to convert, I'm taking their hash values. Let's say it's, ha it's hash value is 10 and its hash value is 10. So instead of comparing A with A, C with uh, C, D with D, I'm rather comparing 10 with 10. So that reduces the number of comparisons. So the number of comparisons are reduced. So that is the, that is the entire uh, concept behind uh, your uh, Rabin Kaap algorithm is that it works with hash values and hash values are calculated by taking the modulus with any prime number. Obviously, there will be situations where the text uh, value hash value is uh, 10 and pattern hash value is 10 too, but they don't match individually. So those cases will also be considered in this particular part. So I'm writing the algorithm and then we will uh, we will basically solve it. So I'm writing Rabin Kaap algo. I'm taking text pattern and I'm taking a decimal number because uh, we are taking the numbers from 0 to 9. So it's like a decimal number and Q is a prime number. Uh, so we start the algorithm. Obviously, we will give N as a length of text and M as length of pattern so this is uh, what is there we are calculating hash value by taking the constraint in this way that we are taking a decimal number obviously decimal number is that we are taking the numbers from 0 to 9 right and this is calculated as m minus 1 because obviously your length of pattern is always taken into account mod of q this is your hash value now, what we will do is that uh, this is has function that we are going to use uh, in upcoming uh, upcoming part of the algorithm. We we have we have to calculate p, which is initialized as zero, and t is also initialized as zero. I will basically calculate the hash value of p and hash value of t. Then I will compare them. So to calculate the hash value. Uh, I will initialize a loop with i is equal to 1 to m. Why I am taking from 1 to m? Because obviously your pattern length is taken into account when it comes with comparisons. Right? So your p value is taken as p is equal to dp plus 
p of i now guys let's just take some important examples i'm taking text as 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and pattern as 45 i'll i'll tell you the rest of the scenario but uh, that's what we have to do why i'm taking 2 3 so i'm taking there as sky values for example in decimal form and it, we have got 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and comparing it with 45 technically 45 is compared with 23 then it is compared with 34 then it is compared with 45 then 56 67 78 89 accordingly right so uh, your p value the hash value of p is calculated as dp p of i mod of q right and text value is also taken as uh, dt plus t of i mod q right so this is what uh, is the calculation for a particular hash values then we will start our shift right our shift will start from uh, obviously for s is equal to 0 to n minus m again we are uh, talking about the number of comparisons still n minus m only like we did in naive string matching algorithm and we are going to check if p is equal to t of s right so if p is equal to t of s then we we are, we are going to check that p uh, of 1 to m whether it is matching with t of obviously s plus 1 to s plus m like we did in naive string matching algorithm if it is matching perfect if it is matching this is fine but if it does not match you know we, we have a particular scenario if it is matching it's fine but if it is that does not match we have to calculate now this scenario we have to calculate else s is less than n minus m right then there is a way to calculate t as well and the t calculation is taken as t is equal to d of t this is one formula that we we need to actually check d of t minus t of s plus one multiplied with hash uh, function that we are taking in the initial part uh, then this particular uh, part is uh, calculated with the d then we have plus t of s plus m plus one entire thing uh, that entire thing from this part to this part is modulus with q right so this is modulus with q and this is your updated t so guys this is what is updated after calculation uh, calculating t every time modulus with q so technically if you, if you see the problem the problem is your pattern is given as 45 text is given as 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 if i'm talking about the shifts so shift s is equal to 0 i will try to match this 45 with 23 technically i'm matching their hash values hash value says that uh, we we are going to match 45 hash value with 23 then your 34 hash value which is your uh, 34 is matching with 23 again their hash values and s is equal to 2 and last we are matching 45 with 45 so guys, this is your text, which is, uh, you know, 45, we are matching it with 45 actually. So like we just need, I'll just need to tell you that this is your pattern 45 and this is your text. So firstly, 23 is considered, then 34 is considered, then 45 is considered. Technically 45 becomes equal to 45. So that's what we have to do. In this algorithm, you all need to understand important part is that when we are uh, matching 45 with 23, I'm matching their hash values. So hash value is always calculated as, P will always be calculated as uh, the, uh, the pattern value modulus Q. Modulus Q would be, I am taking Q as 13, 
right? I am taking Q as 13 and which is your prime number and we have got text text uh, which is uh, 23 in the initial pass i would modulus it with 13 so if i had modulus 45 with 13 what do you get you actually get a uh, 6 and if you modulus 23 with 13 you get 10 so it means initially your 10 is matched with 6 it doesn't match then 45 is modulus with 34 45 modulus is obviously 6 and 34 modulus is uh, i guess 8 so it will not match and when 45 modulus with 45 matches it means both are having 6 modulus then i say that comparison is successful so instead of i'm matching 2 with 4 5 with 3 3 with 4 5 with 4 i'm rather matching their hash values this was resulting as 6 compared with 10. This was resulting with 6 compared with 8. And this was uh, resulting with 6 compared with 6. So this is the scenario of, this is the scenario of your Rabin Kaap algorithm. So,